Okay viewers, welcome to Benidorm, the British Square, just before midnight. We're going to head down there and see how busy it is. Might be too early, we'll find out just in a wee minute viewers, okay? If you're wanting to stay here and party, this is the closest hotel right next to it. The Hotel Orange. Now I've had reports, people saying you don't hear any noise in the rooms and if other viewers saying, oh you definitely do hear noise in the rooms, because I'm thinking if you're up in the balconies here, Surely you must hear the noise, because these, these places are open to 5 and 6 in the morning. The reason I know that, is I'm staying just behind them at the Hotel Marina, and I've got the Hippodrome almost in my, my bedroom window. So I know these places are really busy to, to early hours of the morning. So, this, I don't really go into any of the bars here when I'm here. I, I, would sit, I go to the Strip, or Western Saloon, Morgan Tavern, some of the other places like that. But, a lot of people end up in Cafe Benidorm at the end, end of the night because it's open late as well, it's really busy. You've got good acts in there. There is some really good bars here. There's Camden Town, the new Sinatras, just there as well. Obviously moved from just up there, new Sinatras. We'll do another video showing you how to get to that, maybe from around the other side. We'll wait and see. We'll head down anyway. Zebra crossing here, but just people just ignore it, so we'll just try and get across, okay? Two pints of five euros, that's a good deal here, isn't it? we got Champion Sports Bar, these bars will get really busy later on. Cafe Benidorm already has got quite a lot of people in it. Cafe B, well known here. Kind of mixed age group to be fair in Cafe Benidorm. Um, more younger people really on this wee square bit than there is in the strip. I would say, just my personal opinion. There's a wee chippy there, you want a wee chippy late at night. There is the British chippy in Benidorm as well. So there is the Hippodrome, my room, I can literally look out the window and see right in the Hippodrome Party Central, the Hotel Marina if, you, if you're young and you want to come on the British Square <laughs> then the Hotel Marina is a good location this guy's transformed himself Transformers in disguise check that out, that is cool you've got to admit that is cool <laughs> right, let's continue there is Bahamas there, I need to speak over the music you will find obviously dancers and all sorts in these in these places, just a pre-warning, that's what you're going to expect here if you're on the British uh, Square, 100%. We've got all sorts going on there as you can see later on at night. We've got another place the left hand side there. The Beachcomber's been here for many, many years. Probably doesn't get really busy till later on, the Beachcomber. Let's head down a wee bit further viewers. So just round the corner from my hotel, the Hotel Marina. So, probably if you're a younger age group and you're coming to Benidorm, the lads or the girls, whatever, you'll end up in this wee bit at one point. The strip's just off around here, but we'll walk on the strip anyway, and then uh, we'll take a wee So, the Zodiac show, we've got a Scottish boys here, the Zodiac uh, show bar is just across the road here. We've got loads of other bars right around the corner from the British Square, so this is effectively the strip now. Um, lots of acts on in the Zodiac as well, as you can see. My hotel is literally just down the road there, the Hotel Marina. This is a new place that's opened there, the railway. Um, it's only just opened, I think, a week or two. It's already going to be really busy, I think, because it's a good location, really, for this sort of thing. Um, the railway, it's quite cool, it's got all these things up above it. It's quite noticeable, you won't, know, you won't miss this if you're on the strip. They're clearly going to be doing entertainment. We've got a wee board for live acts and stuff like that, so that's going to be coming soon. So that's the railway. Zodak Show Bar, who's on tonight? Sticky Vicky, two o'clock. <laughs> right, let's keep, let's keep going. Now remember, I've got other videos on the channel showing you the old town, which is completely different than here. So there's something for everybody in Benidorm. Now let's go to Broadway. I don't mean New York, Broadway here. It's noticeable as the week gets later, places get busier. So at the weekend, this will be maximum uh, busyness, Friday and Saturday. This is getting filmed on a Thursday night, so it's not even the busiest night, but it's busier than last night when I filmed it. Let's continue, what's going on here? Queen's Arms. A lot of people outside the Queen's Arms. It's pretty busy inside as well. That's the Queen's Arms. We've got the Rose and Crown there as well. And if you fancy a wee bite to eat, you get a KFC. I probably should go in there, it's nearly midnight and I'm still not at my dinner. I was going to go for a curry down here. But there's a problem viewers, a big problem. The Beatles are on at midnight and they're the best show in Benidorm I think. Well, don't know, Queen Forever brilliant as well. There's a few good shows actually. So that's the Rose and Crown Sports Bar. 
and uh, they're doing some karaoke in there just now. Let's continue. Rocky's pub on the left hand side. Let's see if we can just squeeze by this wee group of girls there. Okay, so Rocky's pub on the left, I think they're karaoke mostly. Rocky's pub. They've got five Australia for eight euros in there, that's unbelievable that deal at this time of night. Absolutely amazing. Let's continue viewers. I need to try and speak over the, the music. There's Charles pub there. I've noticed that one before. I don't know if it's new or not. Famous Red Lion, everybody knows the Red Lion. They've got another one up near the Rincon area as well. People setting off firecrackers just to give me a heart attack. Thanks very much. <laughs> Loch Ness Fun Pub here. Um, karaoke bar, really, mostly. We've got the meeting point just beyond it. Uh, Australian viewers, we've got the Outback here. It's a really nice bar just down from here as well. We've got Surprise Attack. And round the, and the Presidente Hotel, you've got the Philippines Bar, which is one of the nicest bars in uh, Benidorm. You go downstairs to it. They've got a lot of entertainment on it as well. So that's. That's Outback. I think they've got a live singer on or a karaoke, don't know. It's pretty busy anyway, everybody's having a good time. That's Outback. Let's continue, viewers. Can't be waiting about, we're in a hurry here. And they get to see the Beatles at 12. Okay, Red Line, all sorts of shows on in there. Um, if you're here, just check them out. I don't even want to say what they are, to be honest with you. <laughs> just check them out if you're here. More of an adult nature, I think. Okay, taxi driver driving down here, I bet he's pleased with everybody here. Let's continue. I've done a video here last night showing you how busy it was. It's definitely busier tonight. Um, Carnaby Street, one of the best bands here. How you doing? Excuse me, boy. Alright? How you doing? Alright? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Tell you, Scotsman. We actually genuinely follow you. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, yeah, go for it, mate. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God. We've literally been watching. I just met Lucy earlier on. Wow. Is she the winner post? Is that the one down there? The winner post? Eh, winners. She's in winners. It's a wee bit of a walk for here. Where are you guys from? From Glasgow. Uh, from Glasgow, yeah. okay. So you clearly watch the videos because you know I'm from Paisley. All the time. I, oh, the thank you so much. Time. What's your names? Francis and Terry. Francis and Terry. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. Oh, thanks so much, guys. Yeah. I, I have a great holiday. I'll see you about. Yeah, Lovely to meet you. Yeah. See you later. Bye bye. See you later. Guys, lovely to meet you, Francis and Terry. That made my night, I made my wee trip up here worthwhile. I wasn't sure I was going to take a video or not, but I'm walking up this way anyway, so I thought, why not? I'm glad I did, to meet a couple of viewers. Brilliant, okay, Rockefellers, usual kind of stuff on there. Tony Scott, the comedian, plays in there. Um, he's not for the faint hearted, Tony Scott, that's all I can say. I've seen quite a lot of the, the comedians here. Um, probably my favourite one, they're all really good, right, in different ways. Probably my favourite one is Jimmy Bright, plays up here as well. Um, just funny, puns, one-liners. J-Rock, live music bar. Uh, that's where Carnaby Street play, one of the best bands. Probably play a lot of songs from my era. There is Insomnia. That, I don't, that's changed name, it used to be something else. Um, I did walk by it last night and I mentioned, if you can't get to sleep, you can go in there. That could be me later on, but don't know, we're allowed to go in there. Um, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. They've got another they've got another transformer. Hold on, Bills. Got another transformer in here. Let me show you. This is the rage, the transformers. <laughs> what a video this is, Bills. Let's continue. Okay, so we've got the crown put up here on the left hand side. Oh, hold on, I'm going up to see the Beatles up there. Don't know if I can get right down here. I'll show you a wee bit further down, okay, viewers? Since you've stayed with me to the end, I'll continue a wee bit further. I'm not going up this way, actually. I can go up and go left and go round. Uh, Beatles are playing just around the corner. Where are we going tonight? Yeah, we'll join on tonight, Chris Cronus. Chris Cronus, I watched a wee bit of him in lockdown, he's good. He plays the guitar, uh, really good. Remember lockdown, a lot of musicians were playing from home. Um, and you just log in and watch them. 
different times, wasn't it? Ross Stewart, so I know how good's that. Indian Rest, we Cinnamon Lounge, it's okay, but the one I was in back there, the other street was better. One of the best bars, Western Saloon, as I've said before. Go in and see all the guys in there. Go in and see Rob, he was on tonight, Rob. You on just now? I don't know, can't see in that far just now. Great bar, Western Saloon, good atmosphere. They play a lot of good music, um, no rubbish really. Let's continue. Um, Jimmy. Lovely to meet you, I met Jimmy last night from Northern Ireland, he was standing right there, right there, outside the Ambassador Player too. He's been to Benidorm 50, 50 times, that must be a world record Jimmy, 50 times. MD been more than 50 times? MD been more than 50 times, I don't know. Talk of the coast, we were in there last night with Rob, we left uh, Morgan Tavern. This must be the busiest hotel for entertainment in the world, the Ambassador Player. El Devo on, oh, I love them, they're brilliant. Ah, oh, superb. Brilliant. Hopefully we got a wee stand innovation, absolutely brilliant. Oh, they're already clapping. Superb. I might as well take you down eh, because I'm going down this way anyway, I'll go around the corner and um, we'll head to the Beatles show probably. I was planning to get some tea, I don't think that's going to happen. The Palladium's down there. How are they going tonight? Let me check. Too late for comedians, I think. Comedians are normally on 10 or 11. Not normally as late as midnight. To be fair, Gary George is on at half 11. I could still go in and see him. I think I've seen him before, it's quite good. Most of the comedians here are quite old fashioned. A lot of the jokes are the same acts every year. But to be fair, if you only come to bed on once a year, I forget them. Go see Jimmy Bright. The gags are brilliant, you'll still be laughing. Um, but they don't change too much, maybe they add a wee bit. To be fair, if you're a comedian, it's the hardest job in the world just to have new material all the time. Most people only come to bed on once a year, so it's perfect. And there's about five or six really good comedians, so you're not stuck for going somewhere. Meatloaf on at 10 o'clock. Uh, I seen Meatloaf in Joker's Bar once, and they were amazing. I don't know if that's the same one, but they were amazing. Uh, that's the Waikiki bar, quite busy. So down here, let's talk of the coast, in there last night, quite late, actually in there last night. In fact, we went in, and the only act on there was George Michael. Now, I think George Michael actually has got some decent songs. I'm not so keen in the VAM stuff, to be honest with you. But uh, it was a wee trip down memory lane. Busy, busy, busy. Like UK. Let's continue, viewers. Okay, this is the last stop. Very, very busy inside there. They've got the windows open. Okay, Delilah, they're doing karaoke in there. And we've got the Morgan Tavern. Morgan Tavern, brilliant in there last night. Queen Forever. Are on at midnight, they're just coming on, but I've seen them last night. They do do a different show, they do a red and a black show, so it's different songs each night. Um, so if you go like, the second night in a row, you see different songs. Then if you go back the third night in a row, I'll be back to the first show you've seen. Hold on, there's a wee ant attacking me here. <laughs> take that, it's on at one, I'm not a big fan of take that, I've got to be honest with you. Um, reggae show, that could be quite good, Bob Marley, UB40. They're good, the C Sharp project, I've seen them, really good guy in the violin. We've got uh, Oasis and Liam Gallagher tribute that was on at 10 o'clock. Ed Sheeran, Matt Fisher and the Reggae Brothers, they're doing a double stint tonight, they're busy tonight. Hello! Turned <laughs> waving to me. Uh, that's Neptune's bar as seen in the TV show. If you've seen my other video you'll know what I was talking about. Fat viewers, let's walk round, because I'm heading round this anyway, okay? We're going to do a wee separate video talking about prices in a few of these places, but just walk with me. Right, I'm going to pass some of your favourite bars and hotels. Flash Hotel, up the top, it's all Pelicanus, Silver Dollar, a few other bars, Rock and Roll House, I'm going to make it there at some point tomorrow hopefully. Yeah, that's the Flash Hotel, big hotel, quite nice. Calypso Hotel, part of the Serbia Group as well, we've got quite a lot of hotels here. These hotels are very expensive at the weekend, um, I don't think I'll be able to stay in any of them, to be honest with you. Um, 
tomorrow night I'm going to need to go to the Old Town because the, the price difference is going to be amazing. Even the Old Town is hardly get anything that's affordable. I think there's some sort of festival on in this area at the weekend as well. Uh, near Alicante as well, I think it's definitely putting the prices up. That's the Riviera, my mum and dad, Hammy and May, Brian and Helen, did you stay there as well? Let me know. Um, they said that they liked the Riviera, it's like a wee boutique hotel. I've quite often been in the Riviera for a wee bite to eat. They've got quite a nice wee outside bar with a big screen. And they've got an entertainment lounge downstairs as well. Okay, so here we've got the Ambassador Players Pub, the Explorer. This is a really big pub inside, they do entertainment as well, they've got weekly shows, let's see who they've got on. Um, Cam the Rage, I've seen them in Western Saloon, they're really good, it's got a Queen tribute act as well. Uh, Adele, and a few other places as well. It's actually very busy outside this bar, I've not seen it as busy as this really outside. So, it's pretty busy. As you can see, half hour, vodkas, four euros, pints. Two pints, four euros to five pm. Two euros. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the big screen outside as well. Let's continue, viewers. Okay, Riviera Lounge. They've got an entertainment place downstairs as well in the Riviera Lounge. Don't know who they've got on at midnight, but there's nothing going to beat the Beatles, so I'm not even going to check, to be honest with you. That's the wee bar I was talking about um, that I used to. Some tea in quite quite often to sit there. They got a big screen. It's nice. You see, they've got offers as well. Two pints. Does that say three euros? I think that says three euros or two pints. Really cheap. But they are competing Uncle Ped's across the road. So the hotel there, it's not, it's not a cheap hotel. That Riviera, it's quite expensive. But um, they've obviously their, their food and their drinks pretty affordable. But here it is the one of the most famous places in Benidorm. We've got Pablo Bloom on. I think all the time here. Thursday to Monday, 8pm, Pablo Bloom, Uncle Ped's, well, well known for its very affordable price prices. You'll see at the back there, they've got a big list of prices, quite old fashioned, they're right up on the blackboards for that. We've got this big screen now, so it's brilliant, so it's a proper sports bar and live music. How you doing? You alright? Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thanks, what's your name? George. George? Jean. 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 George and Jean, alright, thanks. Where are you from? Sunderland. Sunderland, okay. I wear the black cats. Okay. Oh, well, thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. It looks as if you're enjoying yourself on Uncle Ped's. Nice night, isn't it? Can't complain. Well, have a great holiday, maybe see you about, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so, lovely to meet you guys. Uncle Ped's. There we go. I've got quite a lot of new signage here since the last time I was here. Looks a lot more modern, a lot nicer, but still kind of old fashioned outside. So, we've got a good wee mix here. Quite like Uncle Pez, I've been in it a few times. Uh, the prices are unbelievable. Pint of Amstel, €1.50. Coffee, £1.50. Bottle of Amstel, £1.20. Um, I mean, what's not to like yours? Entertainment on as well. While you're watching, a really good entertainer. Pablo Bloom. Um, he's actually a really good entertainer, he does a lot of songs but he'll do his own version, it's like a comedy show as well, so you could be sitting watching a brilliant show and having a beer, that's a pound, nothing beats Benidorm, I tell you, they've extended this, I don't remember this was always part of Uncle Ped's, maybe it was, I just didn't know, I think they've extended it right out to then. Hi there, how you doing? Yes, on YouTube. Uh, uh, Channel Scotsman in Tenerife. I fucking I spoke to you in Tenerife. You spoke to me in Tenerife, did you? I spoke in a decade. On a decade? I remember you were doing a last last. Must have been a wee while ago, eh? So you go to Tenerife as well? I've been there off does a year ago in December. Right. Could have been, definitely could have been, aye. And you, and because I've only do a vlog a few times. Aye, okay. I'll tell you what you were doing, you were doing that. It was a, the back of the decade, you were doing right in, right in the last minute. Right, okay. The lot. Aye, I've walked by the Temple Bar. And aye, 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 aye. Doing, I, I walked by there quite a lot, aye. I, I probably was. I went up to you in the vlog. Oh, oh, thanks for watching, I appreciate what's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy, or I'm Kevin. There you go, Kevin. Pleased to be with you guys from? Aye. 
Mario. I have to say, if you're Glasgow. And your boss. Okay. All right. Oh, I appreciate you watching it. Cheers. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> well. A year ago last December. Well, thanks very much. What do you prefer, Tenerife or Benidorm? Uh, it's. They like whiskey or vodka, you know what I mean? Aye, don't you? What was to give you a free holiday tomorrow? Where would you go? I'd go, I'd go to a decky. You go to a decky? Okay, oh nice one. All right. Well, listen, lovely to meet you guys and uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday in bed. I'll maybe see you about. And, uh, That's your thanks for watching it. Take care. Later. Come on, the Scots. See you later, guys. Lovely to meet the guys here. So, been an interesting walk so far, viewers. Um, I'm a wee bit sunburnt looking, that's why I've not been on the camera in case you wonder that. Where, where's his wee boff face tonight? Where's his face? <laughs> that's why I've not been on the camera. We'll a bit hurry up, not got much storage left in the phone. Probably busy earlier on this wee uh, place here as well, what's it called? Black Peril, sometimes like music. I tell you something, John Lennon would be on his first track when I got in here, I think I'm late. Oh, what a good wee Indians here. That's the hotel Helios. I've stayed in there before. I thought it was perfectly decent. I've got another video coming up. I don't, it's always rated very highly in TripAdvisor, like number one, number two. Next, just above sometimes, like hotels like the Don Pancho and stuff like that. I've not been in Don Pancho, so I can't tell you what it's like. It looks nice. But uh, I stayed in the hotel Helios and I just thought it was a three star basic hotel. The rooms were nice, um, pool was okay, food was average. So I don't really understand why it's rated so highly and it's not cheap either because it's like over £100 a night for me to stay there tomorrow night. It used to be a lot cheaper and I think the prices have went up because it's rated so highly on TripAdvisor. Anyway, that's another story viewers. Let me know if you stayed in there and you think I'm in harsh. It's nice, I'd stay in it again, but, but I just don't think it's like the best hotel in Bedlam. Some memories here viewers, memories. Karaoke with Kevin, 9 o'clock. Oh, what about that viewers? Did you know I was a karaoke host? If you heard me singing, you definitely say, Kevin, there's no way you're a karaoke host. No way. That's it, Royale Secret. They do a lot of kind of hen packages and stuff like that. I've seen a few people in there as well. Clay Oven Indian Restaurant. I think they're shut. They've just done me a wee curry in two minutes. I go in there. Oh, they're shut. That's a disaster, viewers. Going to need to go into the Beatles show with no food. And here we are. Here we are, viewers at the Beatles show, one of the best in Benidorm. They are absolutely superb. And I didn't know one of the guys watches the channel because he commented last time I was here and he says thanks for your kind words on the Beatles show and I said hello to him. Uh, I can't remember his name now, is it uh, Pancho maybe? Paco or Paco or Pancho? Anyway, let me know in the comments if you're watching. So, we're going to go in there. The Beatles, after it we've got Soul, before that, with the Westlife tribute, with the Elvis show before that, and the Bee Gees, the Bee Gees are really good in here. I've seen the Bee Gees as well. So, absolutely superb. That's what we're going in there. They've not started yet, the Beatles, so I've maybe got time to squeeze a curry in, viewers. viewers. That's a nice hotel there. I've got a rooftop bar. Uh, any Indians open here? Let me check, viewers. Could they do a chicken curry in five minutes? And I'll, drink, I'll eat it, drink a beer, and then I'll go and see the Beatles. Oh, 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 I can hear the Beatles warming up. They're about to come on. And you go in there in a minute. Okay, this is the Indians I was in before. It was really nice. Um, the Polly Tandoori House. It's probably shut as well. Probably too late for all these Indians. Yeah, nobody in. Shut, I think. Disaster, viewers. Disaster. Uh, that's the Royal Arrow round there. Can't go around there, but because the beat was about to start, Joker's just there as well. We'll do another wee video around that end before I leave, probably. Um, but it's time to let it be. <laughs> it's time to go and see the Beatles. Listen, guys, if you've watched this video to the end, I just want to thank you. You help the channel so much. Above everything else, it's free to subscribe. Hit the wee subscribe button, it doesn't cost a penny, it's absolutely free. But above everything else, if you watch videos to nearly the end, YouTube then recognise that this channel is quite popular and they'll pass it on to people who have never seen the channel and they'll say check out this channel and see if you watch to near the end. The more people that watch videos to the end, the more the channel can grow. If the channel grows and it brings in more revenue, it means I can go away more often and I can go to different places 
So we're helping each other viewers and I just want to thank every single one of you if you've watched to the end. I think the Beatles have started. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited viewers. I'm going to go in and see them. Okay. Oh, they're definitely, they're definitely started. I can hear them. Oh, here we go viewers. I'm going to go in here. So there's all the shows I've got here. Chrissy Rock's coming back here soon, I've heard as well. Um, listen viewers, listen, listen. Oh, I want to hold your hand. Oh, how good is that viewers? Anyway viewers, thank you so much. I'm going to break into the Indians, get a curry and then go over and then watch the Beatles. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one. It's goodbye from me, let it be.